This video is brought to you by WeatherTech. WeatherTech makes the best, highest quality floor liners in the industry, and these are the HP model. This is super deluxe, very high quality, super easy to clean, and of course made in the USA. But don't just think they make floor liners. Check out these seat protectors. Great for your furry friends. You got the doors off, the top off on your Jeep. These will keep your seats protected. Check out the link in the description below for all your accessory and vehicle protection needs. Hey guys, you know, we've been doing this now for 12 years. Truck has been around for nine years. Yeah. But we've never had a really great place to do drag racing. Until now. Until now, because we are about to do our very first quarter mile drag race with three special trucks. Let's not tell them, they'll see them when they come up. Three wide. Three wide. Three wide. Three wide, because Nathan, where are we? Do you really want me to tell them? No, just, I mean, what is <laughs> do, this? Do you really want me to tell them? No, I just, do you want me to tell them? I want you to say, we're on a runway. Oh, we're on a runway. <laughs> well, but, but we're on a runway that can hold three, maybe even more trucks side by side. And Andre, how long is this runway? Well, it's quite long. It's about three quarters of a mile, almost maybe a mile long. So that means doing a real quarter mile drag race is no problem. You know what's really important here is that people have been asking us to do quarter mile races and the other track that we use, unfortunately, it's eighth of a mile yeah. races. So do you think that they can guess what the three trucks that we are drag racing are? Because if they look at the camera facing forward, they will immediately know the other two trucks. And from that, I bet you guys can guess what we're in. I, I think they can. I'll give you a hint, guys. Look over on the shoulder. Can you just see the bottom of that? Tearful truck. That's right. <laughs> well guys, welcome to the very first TFL quarter mile drag race. And to celebrate, we got the big boys, didn't we? Big diesels. Yep. It's Ram versus Chevy versus Ford. It's Power Stroke versus Duramax versus Cumming. And that is coming up right now. All right, Andre, so um, what are you driving? I'm driving a brand new 2022 Ford F-250 Power Stroke 6.7 liter crew cap 4x4. And Nathan, what are you in? Big bad Chevy with a big bad Duramax. And of course, I'm in the winning combination of Ram 2500 with the Cummins. So Andre, what are the rules? Two wheel drive, four wheel drive, let us know. What's the rules? We're gonna run it as if we were in the real world, which we are, uh, rear wheel drive, but traction control disabled so we can manage the power ourselves. Okay, traction control off. I'm gonna win this one. I know this. All right, here we go. Nathan took off like a bed out of hell. Oh. I am floored. Duramax says bye-bye. <laughs> but so close, so close. And here comes Andre. Come on, come in. And I'm still eating. And I'm still, this is weird. It's just getting used to going a further distance. Quarter mile, 1705. 1705. Wow, that Duramax is uh, putting down the power really well. Yeah, I felt like I was being hamstrung. I don't like this traction control off, Andre. I don't think that was helping, dude. I'm gonna do this one more time, but this time I'm gonna turn traction control back on. By the way, go boys, uh, the Ram coming 1705 in the quarter mile time according to the solo DL. Uh, who won that race? Was it you, Nathan? <laughs> Yeah, I walked away from you guys. All right, let me give you the solo DL and see what kind of time you got up to on this next race. How about that? Under the massive hood of the Ram 2500 is a straight six Cummins, 6.7 liters of diesel goodness. Puts out 850 pound foot of torques. Where's the torque? And how many horsepower, Andre? 300 what? 
370. It's made it to what some would say a controversial six speed, but the rear end is a 3.73. Hello friends. Do you like 445 horsepower? I do. Do you like 910 pound feet of torque? I do. Do you like a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax? <laughs> yeah, I do. And it's hooked up to a 10 speed automatic transmission and it has a 342 rear end. If you like a standard output engine, you can be with Roman with his weak 370 horsepower. If you like a Duramax, yeah, that's okay too. But if you like power and torque, this is where you gotta be. Because under the hood, the power stroke produces 475 horsepower, the most here, and it also produces 1,050 pound-feet of torque. Once again, the most here. It has a 10-speed automatic transmission and a 355 rear axle ratio. So in theory, the Ford has the most horsepower and uh, the most torque, and it's not the heaviest. So in theory, the Ford should win this. Uh, I, don't, I don't know any other way of saying that. All right, let's do this again. Stair mix is really quick. Action. I'm close! He's not beating me as by as much! Come on, Ford is catching up. These guys are not as asleep at the wheel as they were last time, but I still am taking them. Oh! Oh, 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 oh that Ford's got a lot of power at the end. And yes! What the hell? Did you get me at the last minute? Yeah, it kept accelerating like a freight train, and I think I grabbed you. Oh, by the way, 16.52. All right, well, I think we gotta go one more time and find out what the quarter mile is on uh, the Ford, so. I'm 17.05, you're 16.52, so you're half a second quicker, Nathan. The question is, what's Andre? Let's figure it out. Getting all the trucks together at the same time is difficult, but thanks to our friends at Brighton Ford Colorado, I was able to grab this new Ford F-250 Power Stroke. Thanks, guys. Andre, how much do these big boys weigh? Well, this is quite interesting because the Ram is actually the most uh, lightweight of the three at about 7,700 pounds. All right, how about the uh, Chevy? Nathan, I'm sorry to say this is the heaviest. 8,200 pounds. I'm used to that. <laughs> All right, and uh, the Ford? 8,000. Wow. Uh, and how about axle ratios? People always give us grief because we, you know, don't take into consideration the axle ratios. <laughs> well, these trucks come basically one way. Yeah. The Ford offers a 355, the GM offers a 342 and a 373 there. And it doesn't really matter because they have different transmissions anyway. You know what matters, Andre? What? That they all sound like condoms. Let me explain. So when you think about it, this is, of course, a power stroke. Now here we have a Duro Max, like duration and max. And of course, here at the end, we have a Cummins. I think that's the right order. Power stroke, Duro Max, Cummins. That's how that usually works, right? All right. All right, last and final race. I feel good about this one, boys. Yeah, somehow your truck managed to get faster after being beaten twice. Alrighty. Well, I lost traction, a lot of it. Oh yeah! Ooh. I've got Nathan and I've got Andre, but here comes Andre. And there I go, bye bye. Bye-bye, Roman. This truck just gets faster and faster. Oh, you passed me. Uh, 
I lost a ton of traction, uh, but Andre still destroyed us. 1605. Yeah, I, I slammed it down a little too hard, but nonetheless, Andre just killed us. I've got 16.0, basically 94.1 miles per hour. So interesting, 17, 16 and a half, and 16. So half a second each. There's something very different about driving a quarter mile versus an eighth of a mile. Normally we do eighth of a mile, but I think the difference is noticeable. Absolutely, dude. And I was surprised the Cummins and the Duramax have really good takeoffs. Yeah, but that Ford, after a while, becomes a freight train. For me, the biggest difference is you don't go flying off the track. <laughs> it is kind of nice not having to worry about freaking out at the very end of a track. I mean, you could probably do almost a half mile here if you really wanted to get, uh, you know, funky with it. Next time? Next time, boys, I think we have to go and grab uh, the half tons. It's got to be, what, TRX versus F-150 uh, versus the Tundra that we have. What do you say? Yes? Yes. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, guys, uh, thank you for joining us here on a runway. I can't believe I'm saying that on a runway. Uh, and be sure to come back next time. And remember, check out tfl-studios.com, where you will always get the latest and greatest in podcasts, in TikToks, in videos, and in news. See you next time. Ciao.